Hello friends! Let's say you found a reason to migrate from MySQL to a distributed YugabyteDB cluster. And now you're looking for a way to migrate your existing schema and data. What's the best way to do that? YugabyteDB Voyager. This is the way. Let me show you how it works in practice. First, let's do a quick tour to YugabyteDB Voyager. Voyager is an open source data migration engine and tool. The tool connects to your existing database, let it be PostgreSQL, Oracle, MySQL, or cloud native databases such as Amazon Aurora or Google Cloud SQL. And after that, the tool migrates your existing schema and data to a distributed YugabyteDB cluster. Our application for the today's migration is a social network. A typical social network where you have a profile, you post useful content, you have a newsfeed with the content of the people you follow. If you find anything useful, you can drop a comment and you can like a post. Now, let's update our followers that we are going to migrate from MySQL to YugabyteDB. All right, folks, migrating from my sequel to yugabyte db and let's attach an image so that everyone notices this update ready we are ready for the migration presently the application runs and uses uh, google cloud sql which is a fully managed version of my sql and we are going to migrate to a distributed yugabyte db cluster that also runs in google cloud platform in the US East One region. All right, let's move forward with the migration. But first, let me show you the structure by connecting to the existing MySQL database. So we have a few tables, all right? And let's take a look how many users do we have in our social uh, network. Select, count, from users, you know, just 1001. Not the largest application, but it's still growing. Okay, so let's now use Voyager to migrate from MySQL to YugabyteDB. So the first command is we need to export the existing schema. Voyager connects to this MySQL instance. You see that that's the same IP address. And after that, the schema is gonna be exported into the following directory on my laptop doing that exporting all the tables partitions views triggers and other structures okay the command succeeded and the schema is located in the following directory before we migrate uh, the data we need to analyze the schema by using the following analyze schema command Voyager will analyze your schema and build the report. The report is located here. Why this is important? Because sometimes you need to introduce changes to a just migrated schema, especially that might be true if you migrate from MySQL, which is not compatible uh, with YugabyteDB or PostgreSQL. But this time we will like it. Let's take a look. We migrated six tables, eight indexes and the invalid count parameter is set to zero for both the tables and indexes which means that we don't need to introduce any schema changes voyager managed to convert the ddl statements of mysql to the syntax of yugabyte db wonderful and this means that we are ready to move forward with the third step which is the migration of the data again for that, we just need to use the export data command and we are connecting to the same MySQL instance in Google Cloud Platform. All right, the connection went well and the data is being exported. Done. This is how much data we have. Again, not the largest application, but it's more than enough for our experiments. The next step is the schema is ready the data is ready and we need to import it into the existing YugabyteDB cluster. First, let's connect to that cluster 
and make sure that there are no any tables uh, yet. Okay, connecting to my distributed instance. And now let's set the search path to social, which is the schema name for this social network application. It's set. And if you take a look at the structure, there are now there are no any relations yet. Let's fix this. So the next step, we are going to use Yuga by DB Voyager, and we are going to import schema into our Yuga by DB cluster that runs in the US East One region. Let's begin. All right, the connection went well. We created the schema social. And right now we are creating all of the tables. We are adding different constraints, etc. So the migration of the schema completed. Let's make sure that that's the case. All right, executing the same command. And right now you see that we have relations in our target Yuga by DB cluster. How about data? Do we have anything in the database? Let's double check. Let's see how many users. We have zero, but right now we have the tables and we can move the data. For that, the next command, again, Yuga by DB Voyager, but import data command. And we are connecting to the same Yuga by DB cluster. All right. We have connected and all the data is going to be preloaded in parallel. Done. No any issues. And right now, let's check how many users we have. Wonderful. 1,020 users. The migration is over. Congratulations. But wait, there is one more step left. After the data is loaded, you need to apply all of the indexes and triggers that existed in my SQL. For that, we are going to use Yuga by DB Voyager as well. Let's do that. Uh, to migrate indexes and uh, triggers, you need to use the same import schema command, but also you need to pass the post import data parameter. When the command is executed with this parameter, Yuga by DB Voyager will take all of the indexes that existed in your uh, source database, MySQL in our case, and those indexes will be applied to your Yuga by DB cluster. And the same will happen with triggers if those existed. So it will take a few seconds to complete this migration step. Let's wait. Done. Right now the migration is fully completed. Let's switch our social network application from MySQL to Yuga by DB. Uh, the application uh, is running in a Docker container. Let me stop the containers. Uh, initially, they were connected to that uh, MySQL instance uh, that runs in uh, Google Cloud environment. And instead, when we restart this application, it will be connected to my Yuga by DB cluster that is also running in the Google Cloud platform. All right, let's restart the containers, but this time we will ask them to use our Yuga by DB database. The containers are up and running, and you can see that the connection to the database was open successfully. So let's go ahead and refresh their application screen. Wonderful, done. The migration went well, and you can see all of the data that was successfully moved from MySQL to Yuga by DB, including the last post that we shared when the application was running on MySQL. Congratulations, job done. All right, how do you like it? It was fast and easy, wasn't it? I've got two next steps for you. First, download Yuga by DB Voyager and give it a try. And second, if you like what we do, then ring the bell and subscribe to this channel to get notified about future videos on distributed SQL. See you soon. Bye bye now.